Hi there. This is going to be a tandem wrapping video of how to wear two babies in one long wrap. This is a size 7 Didymos um, Lily's Rosen Quartz wrap. Um, for me, it's my base size would be a 5, so I use an extra long wrap for this. Two sizes up, a 7, and it's perfect for this tandem wrap. I can wear a larger baby on my back or a smaller baby on my front. I have a two-year-old that I can wear on my back and then my three-month-old on my front or I can wear both of my three-month-old twins and it works great for both. So you're gonna start, um, I'm gonna do a ruck on my back and then on the front um, it's kind of like a front cross carry. The front baby will sit in the crosses of a Tibetan tie. So I'm going to start by getting the first baby on my back in a ruck. And you can just put them on your back the way you normally would. So I like to do the Superman toss. But um, any method is fine. Before you do a tandem carry, I'd recommend um, if you're going to do this with your children, then just practice first with just a regular ruck with one child. And then once you're comfortable doing that, um, you could do move to the tandem. And it'll be simple. It's not, it's not much more difficult than a regular ruck. Okay, so baby's on my back, and I'm going to go ahead and um, get her into her ruck. So, I put both top rails right under my chin. Oh, that's my neck. These are, I put them right over my shoulder. Now I make sure that these are up and over. I don't need this one right now. So I'll secure it. I'm going to work with this side. Pulling strand by strand. Getting the slack out. What I do is I tuck this under my arm for now to hold it tight. Pull baby with this hand so that I can now strand by strand tighten this side now what i do i might reach back careful not to careful not to lose the tension cross at the back and under and you just kind of shimmy Make sure that's up nice and tight. I adjust the shoulders so it's not comfortable for me when it starts to fall down there. Ah, normally I put my hair up because baby is eating my hair or pulling my hair. Okay, so what I do now, you can always adjust baby's legs if you need them more in a straddle position. Her knees up, her legs look really good right now. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do one knock back here. That way. One difference with a regular rock, I would just cross, but because I'm going to be carrying two babies. I kind of like to tie this off. <coughs> a little bit of a <coughs> bounce to get that tight. So just one knot. I'm not going to do two as if it was tied under bum because I still have so much more fabric to work with to tie off at the end. But 
The reason I like to do a knot there is because that'll kind of, this back carry is kind of done now. Um, she's supported by that bit of fabric and now I have this fabric to work with. Um, I don't want her slipping. I don't want the front baby, um, you know, putting pressure on the back baby and, you know, pulling at this wrap. So if it's tied there, um, yeah. it feels kind of more secure. Okay, so now I'm going to cross here as if I were doing a Tibetan tie. I like good to home for your caterpillar. Okay, now he's just trying to do a wrapping video, not a caterpillar video. Okay, so there we go. That's tight, I can let go of that. The second one is always harder to get through. But if it's hard to get through, it's kind of a good thing because it means that you've done a nice <coughs> tight wrap job. If it's easy to get through, it means it might be kind of loose and you need to tighten some things up. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to put my hair up for now because she's chomping on my hair. Okay, so there we go. Now there's a couple ways to do a tandem carry with a ruck on the back with the Tibetan ties. Um, I'm just going to spread these out because this is where your baby's going to go. So, for a front cross carry, you can put your baby in here, and one leg goes through either side, and this part is kind of <coughs> where the body goes, and one leg is on either side, so I can show that to you. One leg. If you've used a, a stretchy wrap with your newborn, this is a good way to start because it's the same kind of carry, so it'll feel nice and familiar. So this. The one that was crossed under is the one that you'll spread out <coughs> first. And you want to go from knee to knee and all the way up over the baby's body, all the way up to the neck. And you pull out the slack. She's sleeping already. And then this one. Under the bum, knee to knee, over the back, pull up the slack. Okay, so, um, there's a few ways you can finish this, depending on what's comfortable for you, and how long your wrap is, and how much you have left. So you can tie right here. You don't need anything extra under the baby because remember the baby is sitting in the crosses so she has 
a lot of fabric in between the legs and it's not just a seat um, made from pushing the fabric under um, like like a ruck. It's actually that she's <coughs> actually sitting in the crosses with the fabric right underneath her. So she's very secure and safe in there. There's no way she can fall out. So if you don't have much left and you want to tie off here, up here for a little neck support, you can do that. Um, I don't like having a big knot over here because I already have a big baby in the front. So what I like to do, make sure she's tight, is I pull these down and I like to tie it under the bum. And just like I showed you on the back, you can do the little um, up and tie. And the baby on my back is obviously not in the center because I have a huge tail on this side and a short tail on this side. But you get the point here, the idea. So there, I'm not under the bum. That looks kind of silly because this one's so long, so I can tuck it away. So there's a tandem carry using one long woven wrap. This one's a size seven, and the back baby's in a ruck, tied under the bum in a single knot, and then the front baby is in a front cross carry, tied under the bum, with the legs through the crosses. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the one other option here. I feel kind of bad because she's nice and she's sleeping so nicely. So, let's see if I can do this without disturbing her too much. So, for this next one, the only difference is you still have it tied the same way, and you do the crosses. Tibetan style, and the only difference is, is that instead of putting the legs through the crosses, you put both legs right inside. So you find, mine's all tangled up. I gotta find my inside piece, which is this one. Hold on tight to baby, because remember, there's nothing in between the legs. So this is the inside piece. Spread that over baby. So it's very similar, but there's nothing in between the legs. The reason I like the reason I like this one, tuck the legs in the reason I like this one is because I can really spread it over the baby's back, especially as the baby gets bigger. So for this one, I will reach down and kind of create a little seat. But there is some fabric under her. So again, I want the fabric when you to me, and from the bum all the way up to the neck. With the inside piece, and then also the outside piece. So it's very, very similar. And you just have to try both and see which one you prefer, and which one baby prefers. For this carry, I always tie under the bum 
just because all you have is that fabric creating a seat and nothing in between the baby's legs. So I find that it feels more safe um, to tie under the belt. Make sure it's a nice tight knot. So there we have it. Um, this is just another way to do a tandem carry with a long woven wrap. This one's a size 7 with a ruck in the back tied under the bum and more of a double hammock kind of carry in the front. Okay, hope this helps.